guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna to be painting my first covered bridge ever and this is inspired by Vermont I think Vermont looking at pictures I've never been to Vermont but it looks like they have some beautiful beautiful cover bridges so we're gonna paint this one step by step in real time um, and this is for you Kimberly um, you one of my patrons and very very long time from the beginning loyal subscribers um, followers of mine so thanks Kim sorry this took so long um, but I'm finally getting this done for you so this is gonna be step by step I hope you enjoy this one guys a beautiful fall setting with a covered bridge so let's begin working on a 9 by 12 black primed stretched canvas today we're going to be using a lot of colors we've got neon yellow neon pink I may possibly add some neon orange. We'll see what tone of neon orange we can make with these two. We're gonna be using some ultramarine blue, possibly some phthalo blue, and making lighter shades of this with titanium white, okay? We'll also be using some burnt sienna and some yellow ochre, and maybe some black maybe some sap green as well. So I've got a Grimbacher sap green here, also known as Hooker's Green Hue. So let's begin guys. And I'm gonna start with a background. Get some of these colors off to the side. I'm going to need any kind of stippling soft or blending brush that you have this would work this one is uh, two inch I'm not sure what the name of it is I think this is just the company um, but it's the same softness as these mop brushes it's just a different shape now before I discovered this brush <sighs> some of these hairs off I would take my mop brush and pinch it like this to make narrower trees so that's just a little tip for you guys you can do that right um, so just find whatever brush works for you you can also use a fan brush right you can use this you can use a filbert brush so today I will just feel like using this one now let's squeeze out some paint let's get out some Halo blue, cobalt blue, get out a bit of sap green here, a little bit more, some neon yellow. neon orange, neon pink, and you know what else I want to try using is neon red. So let's show you guys. Now I may be able to get this shade by mixing these two colors together. Before I squeeze this one out, let's just let's just try and see. Oh, and by the way, I just put out a color mixing color recipe. Um, video so I'll leave a link in the description underneath this video for you guys if you want to have a look at that yes that is a perfect match okay so I don't really need to, to uh, squeeze any of this out we can make it with these two colors right here okay we'll leave it as it is for now, we'll add some more colors as we go along. So I'm just actually gonna get my brush a little bit wet and I'm just gonna start taking all three of these colors and begin tapping. Now I like to paint on a black canvas because the colors pop and right now you can't really see these colors yet until we start adding some highlights again sap green and both blues I 
And this is going to be the background, so we don't have to worry about adding. We're just color blocking. We're adding light, color, and shadow back here. We don't have to make it look like perfect trees. They're far away. Now let's start adding. Oh, we need some white. Can't forget white. Let's take a little bit of yellow and a little bit of white. So I'm going over, tapping into the sap green and the neon yellow. Let's add a little bit over here. Okay, too much white. It will dry a bit darker though, so it'll be okay. So a little bit more in here. And let's pick up some more yellow now. Make this brighter up here. And let's add a little bit more in here. So see this neat texture that we get? Oops. And let's also, I'm going to wash my brush off, get that yellow green out of there. Dry my brush off, but see how it's starting to, that's what it looks like once it gets wet, but that's okay. I'll just get some different looking background trees here. I'm going to take some white and some orange and some yellow, and let's just start Tapping in here, overlapping again, a little bit thicker. It's neat, they look like little leaves. Now, these ones here. More in the foreground. I'm just going to place this here now and then we'll dry it off and then add more. Okay, so I'm going to wash that brush off. I'm going to switch over to a little fan brush. those colors together, the yellow, the orange, and the white. And let's start tapping some of this in. There's a line back here along the road. I'm going to do white first. Wait for that to dry and then I can come in with my bright orange and yellow mixture. I can get just some different looking trees here like this. A noisy canvas today. And then we'll have the road will come around the corner and then a turn, a turn like this. This isn't the final color it's going to be. It's, I'm just placing it here right now. Take a little bit of my phthalo blue, a little bit of white, and we'll tap some in here. 
purposely going over some of these other colors to get them blended. And put some in here. Oh, I'm going to have fun with this background. I can see. I know what I want to do. I want to add some of my neon pink. I make a pretty lilac y color right now. What's your favorite season, you guys? Mine's definitely fall. Especially like the very beginning of fall when you get all those pretty fall colors. It's still super sunny outside, but it's bearable because it's not 30 plus outside anymore. It's just perfect. And flowers are still in bloom, like September, even where we live on um, the coast, Vancouver Island, uh, we have flowers blooming very late, late into even November. We rarely get snow here uh, and a frost, so we're pretty lucky. Okay, so I'm going to dry this off now. All right, so where it's a little bit flatter is dry, but where we have little bits that are thicker here, you can see it's still a little bit wet. I'm just going to kind of help that along, tapping. Because I definitely want to start being able to layer over here soon. So if I kind of just tap out a little bit of this, I still have that color. It's just flattening it so I can dry it off a little bit quicker. Let's try that again. way better okay so let's begin our next step and that is making the background look foggy so we're going to do a dry brush over this i'm going to take a mop brush like this it's dry and clean and i actually want to have a light blue violet -y color here so i'm going to make it i have a little bit of pink a little bit of pink here Okay, and I'm just gonna, what a pretty color that is. I'm just gonna dab, dab off the excess here. So I'm just gonna do small circles like this. And this color, I chose because it's complementary to the green because it's got a bit of a, a purple tinge to it and it's also going to be complementary uh, to the peachy orange yellows. All right, so we're going to we'll let that sit for a little bit and work on the foreground. I'm going to begin with, because I have this color mixed here, so I'm just going to take a large flat brush. It's a number 11. You can use any size that you want. Get it a little bit wet. Try to get this paint before it dries, because this is a really pretty color that I want to work with. And I'm going to come right here. And I'm going to go across like this. This section right here the light we can see but uh, from about actually I might have brought that up a little bit too much let me take some of that off I'm just gonna get a another brush right here and take some of this off because right under the bridge you're gonna have a chunk of road that's covered right from the bridge that's gonna be darker in shadow so do that and we're going to make the, the area here, here to here, so this rectangle, let's say that, it's a little skinny rectangle, is going to be a darker bluey purple. I don't want to take black because that's too boring. We already have enough black, the base of this, right? I'm going to need, because my paint, it's hot today, my paint is drying quicker. So I'm going to take this. 
gonna let a little bit of pink and orange lightly blend in with this. Let's be a little bit more dramatic with that curve there. And let's come up here a little bit where we can have some plants that may be hanging down. It's just a little guardrail or something. So we'll make a darker color for a shadow. I'm saying blue and pink. You can use, uh, I'm just about out of my little, well no I've got a little bit left. I thought that was sap green because I have a little bit of sap green in there. Uh, I don't want that. I guess we're going to use this for a shadow. Come up on the side. Up to here. A bit of it's gonna. You'll see some lines like this. Or the planks of wood, the boards. And then I'm gonna come up. Some blue down here and some blue down here. Oh, a little bit more pink. And we'll begin a line here and then a little diagonal one and a little across, diagonal and straight down. And then the same thing here. So straight across, diagonal, and down. I'm going to make this dark inside. Add a little peak right here for the top of the bridge, the roof. I'll just paint this in for now, but it's going to be uh, ochre and burnt sienna. I'm just going to do a dark purple roof line. Let's cross a little bit further. There. So this is the outside on that end, and this is this end, but that will be easier to see when we come in with our lighter color. Let's take white, might be tinted a little bit with this uh, peachy mixture. I'm going to go down, like that. I'm 
Yeah, let's do that. I think that's just nicer. Well, I know what I have to do here to make this come over a little farther like this. This one's going to come down over here. And I'm just picking up a little bit of my neon orange with my white. before I come in with my burnt sienna. So I need a lighter base first for those colors to, to really show up. I'll just pull a little bit in here. So I'm going to pull on an angle like this, and then across, and then down. Pull on an angle here. This one's not going to be quite as long as that one. And the line like this. A little bit brighter right in here. And I'll just add some foliage around in this area. Move this one up a little bit. I'll just add a little bit of purple, and we're going to come straight down. Put over this one, make this a bit darker. Back here I want to add my orange. This is just leaves that have fallen and they're on the side of the road at the base. Those trees. Pick up a little bit of this neon pink and neon orange mixture that we made earlier. Bring that up a little bit higher. And then it's going to get a little bit smaller like that. Now we can take the corner of our brush with these bright colors and start tapping in some leaves here on these trees in the foreground. We're going to scoop like this. A bit more of that neon yellow too. Add little bits of that. A little bit of sap green in here. I'm going to soften with my finger. Just 
kind of a little bit of a layer of this peachy pink color over here. And let's find this on a mop brush or maybe a fan brush again. Maybe there's a beautiful maple tree in here. Some neon pink, mix it with that neon orange. There's some leaves here on the road. We need some more of this neon yellow. Rinse my brush out. Get some neon yellow in here. Start to add some of this. I'll add some back here too. And a little bit of white to that so we make it look foggy. A little bit of sap green in there this time. The white. Mix up some of this orange, neon pink, neon yellow, a little bit more yellow. Use the corner of my brush to little dabs like this. I'm going to add a little bit of leaves in here. Gonna mix the yellow and the green on my dirty brush with that peach. Yellow, sap green, and white. And right in here, I'm gonna pull in. I'm just gonna soften with my finger. in here too. Maybe there's some ivy. And then I'm going to take some phthalo blue, sap green, and I'm going to bring in some dark here in the foreground. Use 
in the corner of my brush to tap and dab. All sorts of pretty colors. Both blues. And we'll add some in shadow here, some foliage. Some down in here. And then pick up our sap green and yellow again. Add a bit of that. to switch over to a liner brush so we can paint some branches. We're going to get back to uh, the bridge in just a minute. So I'm going to take my blues, pink, and orange. I'm actually going to squeeze out a little bit of my burnt sienna now and the yellow ochre. this blue up a little bit. I'm going to make a dark chocolate color. So I don't want a bunch of lumps in my liner brush. I'm going to roll, twist, and pull. Roll, twist, and pull. And then I'm going to start adding some little branches in here. Now this tree kind of goes, dips down. And then up. Add some more shadow on this side. Making these a little bit thicker. That will make my bright stand out more as well. And it's actually a really good idea to make a dark purple because that is really complementary to this yellow orange. So for my shadow, that's what I'm going to use here. paint on my brush. Let's pull, twist, and turn. Get a little bit more water on there to loosen all that thick paint up. More water. It should flow very easily like this. No pressure at all, guys. Don't push hard. These are delicate little branches here. And then a little tree trunk right in here. Let's make a few. So I'm just going to pull and wiggle up. Get a little bit of burnt sand out of this one. That as well. Warm this up a little bit, eh? And then we'll come in. I'll just use my little liner brush to dab some little leaves. So it looks like we have some leaves in front of some of these tree trunks. some burnt sienna with this pinky peach neon mixture. Come right in here and then right above. I'm going to do a line here. Door lines here again. I'm going to switch to a different brush. Just 
going to use a little flat brush, I think, unless I can find my little... Oh, here it is. I've got my angular brush. That'll work fine. I'm just going to take my little ochre and burnt sienna. Oh, no water. And I'm going to go underneath that dark purpley blue roof line that we did. Those colors again. I'm going to take more of my yellow ochre this time. A little bit of white. Helps make it look like wood. Take a little bit of burnt sienna. And just pull some lines in like this. And then a little bit of this dark color here on the tip. this area up here. A little bit right in there. Some more of a dark color. Bring this down a little bit lower. So I'm just adding shadows where I need to separate the highlights. So just that dark color that we've got here. Just grabbed a little bit of water. And we've got a little line that goes like this down. So this little triangle here that we're going to paint in. square like this, right across, another one. I 
be a little bit, just a little bit light right there on the side. And there too. Add some more yellow ochre with the white. some down here. Just a little bit of burnt sienna and pink mixture. Just kind of layer over that. Dark colors again. And I'm going to go over these, where these join to make this darker. Make that a little bit thicker. line in there. I washed my brush off and I'm going to go back to yellow ochre and white. Just want to redo this line here. I'm just going to steady my hand pull down. as well. A little bit more white this time. A little bit of a highlight to those. We come down the edge here on this side, and I'm going to make these into little cement blocks. So I'm just painting little rectangles inside of them. Take my peachy yellow mixture here. We oh, can't see as well over here. I think we'll just have some flowers or foliage. Make this come down a little bit wider. And there's a sign here, but I don't know what it says because it's pretty fuzzy. I'm going to go around it with my burnt sienna to a thin line, all four sides, right down to the bottom there.
bit more of my blue mixture. Do a little triangle in here and bring the shadow up higher. Make it a little bit thicker. short little pulls and flicks like that. And whatever dark color you want to use. Do another line right under right under that brightest part of the roof. There's some writing on here, I don't know. I'll just I'll just scribble, make a little scribble there, looking like there's some writing on it. Okay, so I've washed my brush out. I'm just gonna take a little bit of white with my peachy colors back here. I'm just gonna tap in here because it looks a little bit too harsh. Little outline like this. This is supposed, it's supposed to actually come over farther this way, so I'm going to go over this. Take oh, it's just a bunch of these colors here. Yellow, green, a little bit of white, the peachy colors. Okay, there we go. A little bit more of a dark color. There's a little wall right here that sticks out, as well as on this side. Comes right about. You want to line it up. Try your best to line it up like that. Take some white, mix it up with our, our blues. Make a slider back here. I'm going to take a little bit more of my neon pink here. A little bit more of all my neon colors. Some orange, yellow, and what I want to do is soften the background a little bit more now. So I'll take another little mop brush. I've got this little guy right here, this is a cute little one. And I'm going to take some of my neon pink, my light blue back there, but I'm going to make this, try to make it lighter. This is more of like a bluey pinky color, which is really, really pretty. Wipe the excess off on a towel.
like a little bit of yellow this time. A little bit more. And I'm going to tap in a little bit of yellow right down in here. here, soften this up, take more of my yellow, set this back further, make it look foggy back there. It's all up to you guys how much color you want to add, you know. I'm going to take a combination of all three of these colors. Add a little bit more here. Push my brush like this and create a tiny little fan or filbert brush just by doing that. Oops. Too much work on there. And with some more yellow now, a little bit thicker to put these ones in the foreground. Just little dabs. Just build up that color as much as you want. I'm just going to take a little flat brush here. This is an older one I have. And I'm going to add a little bit more right in here. Just add a little bit of a little bit of shadow. I'm going to go over that and make that a bit more subdued. Make that a bit darker. Put a shadow right in here too. Just in this one area.
and I just got a little bit of turquoise here so you can use any turquoise you want and I just feel like adding some more leaves here so I'm just tapping and incorporating some of this pretty turquoise Maybe a little bit in this wall that comes inside. Little things like that makes such a difference. I love using the, as much color as I can. Just a little line here. A little bit more of this turquoise. Just by pushing and tapping like this you get those little leaves. Oh, there's one more thing that I want to do. There's some windows in here. That's what's missing. So we're going to start one right close, right here, an angle, down, across, and back up. I'm going to switch over to my little angle brush because this one's too big. Clean this edge off a little bit. And take that color again. You can use any light color that you want. Inside this and make it brighter. There we go, that looks better. And then the next one's going to be smaller. There's a little dab in between each of them. A little bit more of my faithful blue in here. Make, or this is actually ultramarine blue. It doesn't matter. You can use um, either phthalo or ultramarine blue. It's fine. Mixed with some burnt sienna, and I'm just going to come on an angle a little bit like that. And then they get smaller and smaller. I'll let that dry a little bit and go back to right in here. It needs to be a little bit brighter. Take more white and be generous.
front ridge here. Set up a little bit higher. A bit more yellow in here. So at this point I just keep adding colors. Pick a little bit of pink in here. You hold my brush flat and just pull and drag. I put it a little bit there and then pull around slightly. A little bit more of my pink here. Let's correct that. It's just a little bit too. And a little bit of light purple hair there. A little bit more of the light purple. Just right on the inside here. Do a few more little pulls here, and then I think I'm going to call this one all done. Yeah, a little bit of light purple back here.
Oh, I still have to do the roof line. Okay, so I'm gonna take white on the edge of my flat brush here. And line it up. Pull. Do the same thing to the other side. So this area right here is kind of bugging me. Okay, so I just want to take a little bit of these neon colors here, whatever I can get, tap in. there. Excess off. I'm getting the finishing touches here guys and I want to thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed watching this one. I know I'm looking forward to fall. And someday, when we can travel again, I'd really like to go visit uh, Vermont. I think it would be quite fun to go through all the bridges and just do a trip on seeing as many bridges and crossing as many as I can. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks again for watching. Bye!